So guys, um, I want to do a talk about the hypocrisies of our liberal society and how our liberal society has demonstrated its lack of consistency in its treatment of Christianity and Christians and the Holy Church with those of the Islamic community and other communities, as well as demonstrating the numerous and various hypocrisies and double standards of the Western world. And my first and main example to that is the recent decision of the European Court, which recently ruled in favour of a feminist who interrupted a Christian religious service naked from the top up and performed a theatrical abortion of our Lord Jesus Christ, mockingly dressed as Mary. I'm going to read from the. Uh, I'm going to read from a Catholic news site dated October the 19th, 2022. The judges of the European Court of Human Rights, the ECHR, have ruled unanimously that a feminist who simulated aborting Jesus on the altar of the Parisian church of Le Madeleine, bare-breasted, was exercising her freedom of expression. In an October 11th decision, the ECHR condemned France for having pronounced a suspended prison sentence against Eloise Bouton, a former member of a group FEMEM, for acts of sexual exhibition. Bouton entered the famous Parisian church topless in December 2013, covered in pro-abortion slogans and interrupted a rehearsal of Christmas carols. As local media reported, the feminist stood in front of the altar wearing a blue veil to mock the Virgin Mary, arms open in, in a cross with pieces of animal liver supposed to represent the fetus. She then mined an abortion of Jesus before urinating on the ground in front of the faithful. Christmas is cancelled. Fenem wrote on its Facebook page following this desecration. The Vat from the Vatican to Paris, the international relay of Femen against anti-abortion campaigns led by Catholic lobby continues. The Holy Mother Eloise has just aborted the embryo Jesus on the altar of the Madeleine. And this act of blasphemy this act of desecration was said by the European Court of Human Rights to be a legitimate act of freedom of speech. In other words, she didn't commit a crime, she didn't do anything wrong by pissing in a church, by standing naked in a church, by insulting the religious expressions of Catholics in France. What she did was a completely legal expression of her human right, according to the European Court of Human Rights. This vile, despicable court overturned the legitimate judgment not just of the local court in France, but of the Supreme Court of France that found Eloise guilty of blasphemy. But the same European Court of Human Rights found against an Austrian who had stated publicly that Mohammed was a paedophile and his behaviour was paedophilic and when that Austrian was prosecuted for blasphemy 
for injuring the religious sentiments of the Muslims of Austria, the European Court of Human Rights found in favour of the Austrian Court and said that it was an illegitimate use of freedom of speech to describe Mohammed as a paedophile. And so what we see, ladies and gentlemen, is that the European Court of Human Rights finds it acceptable to blaspheme against the Christian faith, to desecrate Christian churches, to mock the Christian religion, to insult Christians in their places of worship, but says that you cannot publish facts about Muhammad that replicate the very statements of Islamic sources themselves that demonstrate Muhammad married a six-year-old child and had sex with her when she was nine. It is the very height of hypocrisy of this European institution demonstrating that liberal society is anti-Christian and duplicitous in its application of its laws and standards. The European Court of Human Rights is not worthy of your respect, it is not worthy of your support, and if you are a Christian, you should campaign to destroy this institution. This European Court of Human Rights is not worthy of the title a court because it has no sense of justice. It has no sense of equality under the law. It is nothing but a puppet mechanism of a group of liberal elites who sit in their beds terrified of a Muslim backlash and so suppress any legitimate criticism of Islam whilst harbouring in their heart hatred against the Christian faith and hatred against the Christian church. And they demonstrate their duplicity and double standards by their actions and their judgments. Christians around Europe should call for the destruction and the abolition of the Court of Human Rights. Christians in the UK should call for the government of the UK to withdraw from the European Court of Human Rights. And this is not the only expression of the hypocrisy of our liberal elites. There are many other examples. Take, for example, the green activists who are blocking our roads, damaging works of art, and committing vandalism, liberté in our streets, and the state is doing nothing to stop them. And why? Because our liberal elites celebrate the cause of those green activists. But those same liberal elites have called for the banning of legitimate protests outside of abortion clinics. And why? Because protesting outside of abortion clinics goes against what the liberal elites want you to follow, but protesting in favour of the environmental fanaticism of some goes in favour of what they want to achieve. And so we see a double standard of our liberal elites. A further example of the same is the treatment of the cause of Ukraine and the cause of Armenia. Both countries have come under attack by aggressive enemy states. Ukraine by Russia. Armenia by Azerbaijan. But the European Union is willing to boycott buying gas from Russia because they want to defend the freedom of the Ukrainians. 
and I agree with them. It's right to stand up for the Ukrainian people. But the same European Union and the same liberal elites are silent about the aggressive military campaign of Islamist Azerbaijan against Armenia and are willing to buy the gas of Azerbaijan, thus funding a war against Christian Armenia. Think about how the West argued for the self-determination of Kosovo, Serbia, invaded independent Serbia, carved out lands that belonged to Serbia and handed them over to Islamist terrorists and Albanian nationalists. And yet the same EU, the same NATO, the same Western world is completely silent about the legitimate demands of the vast majority of the people who live in Artsakh, Azerbaijan, a province of Azerbaijan populated by Armenians who want to be independent of Azerbaijan and join Armenia. Consider how these same liberal hypocrites celebrated the riots, vandalism and murder of BLM activists across cities in the United States and lied about what was happening on the ground, saying that these riots were mainly peaceful. And yet we see in America those same liberal elites getting into fits of apoplexic rage because of a right-wing riot in Washington, D.C. So months of riots by BLM communists were whitewashed whilst one right-wing riot run by Trumpian supporters was decried as an attempt to usurp the state. Consider how the liberal state turned a blind eye recently to Muslim mobs watching in Leicester, harassing the Hindu community, harassing Hindu temples under the guise of protecting the Muslim community in Leicester. Lies. But that same liberal state condemned the EDL for protesting in Rotherham for defending working class children from Muslim grooming gangs. Consider, consider how that's when they turned the blind. This liberal state, when all those Christian the liberal state, were raping children, has been silent about the protests not to you. of women you in Iran to talk about the fighting Christian for their freedom and fighting the for their equality under an Islamic regime is that, your idea that oppresses the them pedophile. and turns a them into second-class citizens. It's it's only but those same liberals demand that Christians pedophile. stand up That's for the women's right to murder their own children in the West. No, ladies and gentlemen, notice how how the militant Christian, communist Christian heckles me for oh, standing up for right. justice. And when I mention, this man I mention who justified the attempted murder of a woman in this park, this Christopher who hates Christians, Christians and attacks Christians every week, and the so Islamist who walked away. Who also hates Christians? These people are the enemies of the good. These people 
Oh, you're Christian enemies, Christians. Then Bob will stand And you must man. stand up to them. You must stand up to the liberal militants. You must stand up to the militant communists. You must stand up to the Islamist militant. Do not be afraid of them. Do not be browbeat by them. Do not cower from them. But girdle, strength in your heart, strength in your mind, and strength in your loins to stand up to Islamist like that and communist like this. Do not take lectures from them. Do not let them say to you what is right. That is wrong. Persecuting Christians. Stand up. Like ISIS. To this Christian ISIS. To this who legitimise the persecution of Christians. Who persecute women. Who persecute your brothers and sisters in Christ around the world. As long as you're a Catholic. The reason why. Right wing. But this. Behave in the way that they do is because my number, try they feel me. that they can. Remember when you talked about because they are the emboldened Jake, the by your weakness. Your weakness. Jake. It is That's your right. weakness that we emboldens no. the enemies Boy, of Christ. It is you your weakness that emboldens the enemies about of our Lord. And the, 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 the apostles teach us. Never come here once. The like apostles teach us that we, that those who are cowards, were burning hell. So to be strong is the dark Communists! Look at how they are triggered. Because I stand up for my brothers and sisters persecuted by people like him. Hating because I stand here, up for this for my brothers and sisters. Anything under the shoe of anyone else present is speaking for him. Communists, no neo Nazis. If they talk, no one will listen to them. Dictatorial, and that is why and they come to political. me. Apolitical, so too critical, let's diabolical. No, we won't. Because so. you're looking to the camera. Bro. Ladies and gentlemen, Don't turn to me and I like Moses. I'll brothers and sisters, bang the gavel and the hammer. If we don't stand so up to Islamist like this, us. we don't Crusade stand up to killing Christians to Islamist like Crusaders this. Crusaders in the centuries, Bile the four Crusades, killing Christians, who want to make no Christians parade. stop wearing Second your mask class parade. citizens. That's how you got paid. these people will impose Sharia law over us and make us into second-class citizens. You're already a second-class citizen when you were born. He wants to turn you, brothers and sisters, into second-class citizens, having less rights than him. That's what he stands for. I'm an alien. And I'm the reason why he alien. behaves like this is because his religion Teaches him be to the he is superior. You're trying to hide the fact that you and worship he believes the Father alone. That he can persecute man, go and discriminate against Soko. Christians. Trust me. You try act sane when you're psycho, you not, not even stand local. up to this Islamist ideology, this kind of subhuman behaviour, akin to a bark is what we will experience Hitler. in every street Bob in Bilder. our world. The same, not peace-loving like, like him. like him Archbishops know the are same. homophobic they are safe and believe homosexuals like you. should be killed. They're waste men. People like him believe Christian, like Anders Breivik. at the end of the world Anders Breivik. he will be able you to kill extreme. all you Jews. Don't the creator the People way like that peace-loving Christians love him. 
what but Muslims, you as a Christian you ain't peace should loving. be made you ain't a nothing. second class You're citizen. It's People a tough like him coming on Sunday trying to earn your money and you talking about me. Like women should be made funny. second Come class show citizens. You funny, you make People money. like him Christians believe like Bob. that pagans All you're trying to do should is be get killed. Views and robbed. People like Bob's him and souls and believe money. But those who choose to so leave the behind. religion of Islam Did you get should be killed. People Did like him with a voice that believe so loud? that a Christian Are you too cannot have authority over a Muslim in the state. People like him believe that a Christian man cannot marry a Christian woman. People like him believe that the cross should but be shown publicly. People like him believe that Christians should not be allowed to evangelize their faith. People like him believe that Christians should not be allowed to have public processions in the streets of Muslims. Three hours later. People like him believe that Christians should pay a discriminatory tax called the jizya that demonstrates their humiliation in an Islamic state. People like him believe that slavery should be reintroduced as a legitimate trade. People like him believe that you should be able to marry prepubescent children and have sex with them like their prophet. People like him believe. That is what they believe. That is what we are up against. And you will never be able to fight them whilst you are in bed with liberals. Whilst you are in bed with plurality or liberal agenda because the liberals are weak and they give trash like that too much space to preach their poison too much space to push their sharia law a good and just person will stand against sharia law just as they stood against Nazism and fascism because Sharia law is in the same cesspit of inhumanity and injustice that fascism and communism sit in. It is putrid filth. It is the enemy of all that is good and decent. And you should have no shame in opposing such an ideology. But how, as Christians, can we oppose it? We must oppose it as Christians, authentically as Christians. We must separate ourselves from the liberal agenda and from the aspirations of liberal society. And we, as Christians, should envision our own political destiny our own political aspirations and our own vision of a Christian state that we call Christendom and seek to reconnect society, politics and economics with our Christian faith. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Any questions? Here it is. Is there any state existing today or historically that you would aspire towards that might fit your definition of this ideal Christian society, state? So the question is, and I'm not going to shout now, so if you can't hear me, you'll have to come closer. So the question is, is there any state that represents the kind of society that I'm talking about? The answer to that question is no. It doesn't exist. never existed? No, no, historically, it existed in that super state called Christendom or the Byzantine Empire. However, it's utterly foolish to try to reinvent the past. Yeah. What we need to do 
is accept that the Western church is in a different place. Yeah. And we need to aspire to build from where we are rather than just drag the past into the future. So I'm not talking about going into the past, but learning from the past and bringing it into our present. So the Orthodox church is sort of the more authentic church, would that be a correct No, I haven't said that. No, I haven't said that. The, the, the Christian church is that body of people that are Christians. Okay. And we should aspire to connect economics, politics, society, culture to our Christian faith so that our faith is influencing how we do politics, how we do economics, how we do society, and how we do culture. And we've got to re-envision that for our time. Learning about what mistakes we made in the past and not repeating them, and taking what we can learn from the past and applying it in a modern sense in the present. Okay. Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen, about our topic today? Any questions going once? Our topic is about a Christian society and freeing ourselves from liberalism. Questions going twice. Questions going three times. Okay, are there any questions about Christianity before I move on to a new topic? That gentleman gave you. Thank you. Okay. So, I'm going to move on to another topic then.